Every other platform already has a base. You know, you can go and buy stuff for it. Right. All these other cars that don't have that base is like it's all fabrication and custom right. work. So it's like back to the basics, right? Yeah. Wrapping cars. Started wrapping for free. Crazy. And people yeah. were like, what's going on here? Drip and drift. Welcome to the Drip and Drift Podcast. My name is Nick, aka Drip and Drift. And today we have the owner of Miami Vice Wraps. Victor, aka Drift for Epilepsy. Thanks for coming out, man. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? <laughs> Chill, man. Everything is good, man. I can't, I can't complain. We're blessed, bro. Amen to that. Like man. we get to do this stuff, drifting, like talk cars. Yeah, man. It's it's really <laughs> it's been a unique and cool experience getting to know like my community locally in Florida and like talking with drivers and like it's a big community. Yeah, a lot of people. Lot like of we talking. met online <laughs> yeah. when you were still in South Florida, yeah. and then yeah just crazy how it works through internet communication yeah. <laughs> and linking up at events it's like yo now you're here yeah i met you not that long ago in person for the first time yeah right? i think at OSW. I think, yeah either osw or fuel fest i saw you at as well was um, it prior i think it might have been fuel fest yeah i don't know yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah dude it's dope man we gotta we've been to events now we gotta drive a little bit together 100 so, percent. Yeah. yeah every time i'm there you're not driving every yeah. time you're driving i'm not driving yeah yeah we gotta link up somehow that it's way. hard it's hard there's a lot of events going on right now which is great for yeah. florida it so. is it is dude good good time to be drifting right now 100 percent. yeah um drift for epilepsy do you have epilepsy or like you know people with it or like how did that so your name? uh yeah uh contrary to belief i do have epilepsy yeah so which people find it weird because like oh he's driving he's doing this right um i've just been blessed i've been nine years seizure free wow. which i've been driving for nine years so i yeah. kind of figure like driving has been like my cure like my yeah. freedom my that's awesome. my way to express so uh i just started it to raise awareness and inspire and motivate i used to be very embarrassed about it yeah. about it and people like used to make fun of me about it in school Cause I would have my, my episodes and stuff yeah. like that. And it was just one of those topics Dang. that were very sensitive. Yeah. So I use this as a platform to kind of like, you know, let yeah, me use bring, it to my benefit bring and, awareness. and yeah. yeah, And just, that's awesome. Yeah. I just asked obviously the name, but <laughs> my girlfriend has epilepsy. She hasn't had a seizure in years now, but yeah. it is a thing that I don't meet that many people with. So yeah, especially in the driving community. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's one thing we're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. And I was told that I was not allowed to drive and do not play sports, not play video games. And I've done all the above. Awesome. So, you know, uh, just blessed. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, <laughs> dude. Well, have you always been in a drifting or like always been into it? When did you, when did it start for you? How did you get? So funny enough, um, I saw Tokyo Drift. I always, I knew I always wanted to get into cars. I had like a Honda Civic EK, uh, nice. my first car. They didn't know nothing about cars, no school, no nothing, all YouTube mechanic, right? Yeah. And um, I met a group of guys who just so happens to be one of my roommates now, Dark Performance, yeah. and uh, Gutter Club uh, from Miami, and. I saw them doing it in real life, and I was like, yo, this is real? Like, this actually happens? Is this not a Japanese thing, like, underground yeah. thing? Like, this happens out here? And they had 240s, and that's why I have 240s now. So it's like, yeah. it's just been my my car, and that's it. Addicted since they, they're the reasons why I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the 240 you've always had that you're building now? Mm, no, Got no. I started off with Hatch. Uh, had a couple half Hatch 7 240s, and this is the... Okay. Probably like the best 240 I've had, yeah. uh, and the only coupe actually. They've all been hatches, yeah. and then coupes just like stole my heart. Yeah, yeah. I love the coupe. I love the coupe. <laughs> I've had both, but I like. I just like. I'm a coupe man. Yeah, the hatch just better for space and street driving and carrying tires, right? Yeah, that's true. The coupe is fully caged, so can't carry too much in there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's beautiful platform. And you've LS swapped it. Yeah, 5.3 iron block. Okay. Uh, second motor. The first one, Chaos. Just blew up on startup. Wow. Yeah, missed uh, uh, one of the bearing caps. Okay. We left that loose and little human error, <laughs> you know. Never build a motor. It's my first motor. So, like, you know, we, we learn yeah, and progress. Sure. So, uh, now I'm having a lifter and cam issues. Um, but that's my fault. I went eBay. Don't go eBay, guys. You know, <laughs> so. Uh, Take took, note of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, I took everything out and I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure there's no metal shavings in it recheck everything reseal everything but for the most part everything else is like legit stuff yeah, yeah. so how long do you think till it's like at least to testing and like ready to 
drive at the um i'm giving myself a so right now i've been driving the g35 as you know that's been my c time car yeah. and having fun with that but right now i'm on kind of like a break moment where i'm focusing my time and money on my 240 uh, so I'm giving myself like a month, month and a half. We have a lot of events coming. We got 4th of July coming. We got clean culture coming. And then I am debuting this car at Pro-Am for the last Sebring events cool. with U.S. Drift Circuit. So nice. that's my goal. Yeah. And I'm going to make it happen. Right nice. Now. When is that event, uh, the last Sebring one? Do you know? Um, I think the first Sebring one's in August. So I have more than enough time. Yeah. Like if my car's not running by then, like just yeah. stop. You know, like, <laughs> just stop. Um, and then the last one, I'm, I think it's in October, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So nice. yeah, you got a little. You got yeah, I got more than enough time. You, you know, time. and that'll be the comp car. That is like, full comp car, fully caged. The, uh, you know, Holly Terminator X, all the great stuff. Uh, you know, stock for the most part, just like you know, upgraded springs and push rods and all that great stuff. Cam mm -hmm. lifters. Um, so I don't plan to be making like. You know, six, seven. I'm like in maybe four, four fifty. Yeah. Um, and then later on, we'll hit it with nitrous once I get comfortable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just want to get comfortable in the chat. The chassis I'm comfortable with, but the motor and power uh, should be an easy transition. I hope. True. Yeah. So most of the stuff you've been doing on your own, learning as you go and stuff like that. Pretty much, I've had the guidance of my teams from uh, Jackson Performance yeah. and uh, my friend uh, Dark Performance. Uh, a lot of guidance, a lot of help, but for the most part, all hands-on, myself, yeah. so Dang. all human error has been me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Every piece yeah. that happens that goes wrong. Turn the key, I'm like, please, yeah. please, don't forget nothing. <laughs> yeah. So, so you said you had the G35 as well. Um, that's just pretty much stock. Uh, like for the most part, yeah. It's a stock, stuff. boltons, uh, BCs, FDF, mild Mantis kit uh welded diff all the great stuff solid bushings in the rear mm -hmm. hydro but stock yeah, yeah. full have, interior have you drifted any other cars besides the 240 and g35 uh i had my e46 uh, a lot of 240s uh e46 such a hard platform yeah i struggled with that one uh just uh subframe issues mm -hmm. you know they have the reinforcement yeah. kits which i did then i had transmission issues and i just kind of gave up on that jump back into a 240 yeah yeah yeah, I've never, I've only owned one European car. It was an Audi before I drifted an A4. And I just, just uh, not, it's tough. not a Euro. It's tough, Euro man. It's kid, a, like, they require a lot more. Besides a Porsche, I would love a Porsche one day. But I mean, not wouldn't? to drift. Really, <laughs> yeah, just <but>. to have. <laughs> Although Chelsea's now drifting. That, yeah, is man. It a Cayman? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool to see. I got to see it in person. He came really? to uh, in uh, Tuners Invade. Yeah, we saw it in person, and it's a uh, it's a monster. Yeah, but then again, also a very expensive platform. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's like I gotta stay away from that one. Yeah, if you got, <laughs> I remember like when I started to get into at least spectating drifting. There were still a few nine forty fours. Yeah, that were out there drifting, which I I thought that was so cool because like. You know, some of them were turbo, some weren't, but it's a four-cylinder, rear-wheel drive. I think it's really Poor cool, yeah. Porsche, but, like, it was still a Porsche. It's really cool to see cars that are not, like, just, like, your common cars. Yeah. You know, you exactly. always see the 240, you always see Beamers, you always see your Zs, Miatas, Zs, Zs, Gs yeah. now, like, are the main thing, right? Yeah. So when people push past the limits, like, there's a couple diesel cars in uh, yeah. the European circuits and stuff like that, and, like, wagons and Mercedes now, like, it's, like, pretty cool to see those, yeah. those platforms just, like... Because, like, every other platform already has a base. You know, you can go and buy stuff for it. Right. All these other cars that don't have that base, it's, like, it's all fabrication and custom right. work. So, it's, like, back to the basics, right? Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And it, it is cool to see people do it and know that they're not going to be able to bolt stuff on. Yeah, them, yeah. But they still <laughs> go through it anyways. You like, know? So, it's got to start somewhere. That's inspiring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, For sure. Because not everything is kind of already done, but people still find new innovating things to do yeah i mean like you know like uh they were talking about that in another podcast the other day talking about like how in the 90s it was so hard to get into drifting because right. none of this existed everything was like custom made you had to like make it work and there was no angle kits there was none of this yeah. so it's like everything came from scratch now we're blessed to have all this product from different people fdf wise fab all this great right. stuff right but back in the day there there was none of that so it was like super hard to like if you were out there, you were out there, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, you, were, you really wanted it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a little easier now, that's yeah. for sure. So going back to the G35, the next car, I would like to keep the Z, make that more in a comp, get a cage next for it. 
but I am looking at a four door, either G thirty five, G thirty seven. Yeah. What's your opinion on? Are they pretty much the same? Obviously, G thirty seven is newer, has the HR. Yeah, uh, it's tough, man. I mean, I, I wish I would have gotten into a sedan to begin with. Yeah. Um, they're just they look amazing. Uh, I feel like they're more comfortable, but for the most part, the G thirty five sedan, G thirty five coupe are the same thing, right? Yeah. Um, it's just party car man like yeah. you know you get to put four bucket seats in there get rowdy in it and it seems to be a popular debate right, right. cooper sedan and everybody loves the sedan right uh definitely would go g37 though you know vhr why not yeah more yeah. power <laughs> i've been looking and they're they're around the same prices like, yeah and it's you see some for sale that you know have been like either streeted hard yeah. or like thrown around <laughs> and then others that have been like just grandma'd and Kind of neglected a little bit. Yeah, those are the ones. Those we are the ones. I, the <laughs> gems, like, yeah, I want like one that was grandma driven. Yeah, but she didn't really take care. Of yeah, it. she's just there. So just it's like <laughs> a little low ball, a little low ball. But G thirty fives are cheap for the most part compared to Z's. Yeah. So I was like, it's a win. Yeah. I was like, why not? You know, win win. <laughs> yeah, you plan on keeping that for a while as well. Yeah, plan to keep it for a while. Um, that's my backup car in case things fall out again for with sure. the 240 like they have already. And I'm like, okay, let me get some seat time. Yeah. Also, uh, my girl over there is trying to drive, so I was like, you can drive this one. Yeah. So <laughs> might as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna let her. You know. <laughs> I'm like, her thing is so pristine right now. I'm like. Yeah let it stay there yeah yeah keep, my car's already been through the ringer might as well keep keep using it for what it's set up for exactly i would love the sedan to like just look like a super clean street car but be able to slide exactly like you said if the if the z goes down and i still want to go to an event i could throw it around yeah but it's not the main yeah yeah you still thing. have a backup you yeah know? like my g is like pretty much my backup you go to my g full interior radio nice. android tablet like it's you know it's, it's ready to just turn into a show car if i wanted to or just keep yeah. it the way it is so yeah cool you know you got options yeah, yeah. For, now. <laughs> for now yeah <laughs> for, now, for now i already blew a motor once yeah <laughs> so. So getting into uh, what you do for work, rap wrapping cars, yeah. how long you been doing that? Um, started in 2020. Yeah. Um, it was a rough time for a lot of people. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, for me, it was more uh, I was an essential worker, so I still had a job. Um, but I just, like, wanted to start something. I wanted to, like, take advantage and, like, I'm home already. Yeah. What can I do to, like occupy my time and learn something new so i'm self-taught learn cool. on youtube i yeah. took no classes i didn't get into no seminars none of that and just learned on youtube uh watching this guy ck raps okay. which i met at sema last year cool. pretty cool yeah and uh it just started from there so then i started rapping for free crazy and people yeah. were like what's going on here? Yeah. and i was like look i'll do it for free for now you just help me and if it comes out bad, it was free. Yeah. And if it comes out good, it was free. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then once I got better, it, it turned into a 500 full wrap charge, which is still cheap. You know, yeah. these things go for like two, 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 five, three K. Yep. Um, and now I feel comfortable where I can charge full price. But even then, I'm not at full price. Yeah. Um, not because I don't think I can, just like we all need help. And, you know, if I can make a little bit of money and help somebody out for a little bit cheaper, it's all yeah. good. You know, so I love doing it. So yeah. it's not really much for me what's one of the most difficult cars that you've done like with the most i would say like bends and curves and like you know what i mean uh, okay so or is that not hard for you it, it is yeah. it is there's cars that i look at, i'm like man i'm not gonna enjoy this at all yeah uh stock car i'll probably say like a q60 mm -hmm. uh simple is their bumpers are really detailed a lot of yeah. pieces yeah. um but uh i kind of like flowed into just wrapping like a lot of drift cars mm -hmm. And body kits are, mm. man, body kits, S14 from bumper Sylvia, yeah. deep crevices, a lot right. of pieces, and it's just, like, very challenging. And then, oh, not to mention, all the fiberglass cracks, they're not perfect cars, mm -hmm. so I'm wrapping over these damages, and it's just, like, you know, you can't expect perfectness right. with damage already, so it's, like, you have to, like, learn how to, like, just, like, let that slide. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... um. You know, every every car is like a challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's one of the easiest? Because I would say like something more boxy, right? Something with like flat. you would you would think so. Yeah. I would say bubbly. <laughs> yeah. uh, stock G thirty five, great. Yeah. Stock uh, three fifty Zs. Yeah. Great. Um, boxy. Like if you start talking about boxy, maybe like 
an old school like Honda Accord yeah. type thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but still, it's like actually kind of difficult because yeah. it has a lot more plastics around it, right? Mm. So now you got to mold around all this great stuff. Like yeah. newer, newer cars don't have those trims. Yeah. So it's just flat, you know, body panels. So it's like a G35 is like easy. I can wrap that in a day. Yeah. I did a Z recently in one day. Wow. You know, and that was a drift Z. So it was like surprising. That but is pretty wild. Cut bumper. It was half a bumper. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like things become easier. Right. So. Right. Because, yeah, dude, <laughs> I just spent the last week helping my buddy out do his RX-8. And like, I haven't, it's been a year since I did my own. Yeah. So, like, I haven't had the practice in a year, but I did have help from him. But I was also teaching him. He had never done it. We didn't have to redo any panels, but it was it was pretty gnarly. It was last Saturday, Sunday, and then after work, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, like, about a week? About a week. No and we time around? didn't even... He was able to take, home, take it home and finish the front bumper, side skirts, and wing. Yeah. Everything else we did... He'll probably have to redo the rear bumper. We messed up by the taillights. Um, like cutting-wise or? Well, we kind of stuck it down already to the out. Like, there's a little line. We yeah. stuck it down below the line, started going down and out, down and out, until the outsides. And then once we made it there, the line on top that curves to the latch of the bumper, okay. that we started to do, and we had already done those sides, so it... It just left lines by the tail lights. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I was like, man, we should have, we should have done that part out first before completely doing the sides of the bumpers. Yeah. So you learn from it. I also like uh, motivate people to like, don't worry about doing everything in one piece. Yeah. A lot of pieces are like professionals, man. They're doing like, you know, uh, I did a 350Z bumper recently, and that turned out to be like eight pieces. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? Like. The one piece thing is great, yeah. but you're going to get a lot of pullback, a yeah. lot of uh, defects, and it's just going to happen. Yeah, his front bumper was from a body kit, so it was like two big holes, yeah. then two little holes, and the giant hole yeah. in the middle. You got to do and pieces. I was like, right yeah, <laughs> I told him, I was like, we can't do this all in one. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, it's hard. But you do that in one piece, teach me, because, yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, wild, man. Yeah. So you plan on taking it further and, like, just continue doing um, more drift cars, race cars, or I kind of like just um, want to stick with the artsy side, which is like yeah. drift cars, liveries, and stuff like that. I did a, a film HQ's car it came out amazing. Yeah, I saw that. Love that car. Um, do you do the graphic design as well? Um, so he did the designing a part. He, he had someone design it. I did have someone print it out for me. I had to outsource until I buy my own printer and yeah. stuff like that. But had it outsourced and then got it printed and laid it out all in. About a couple of hours, I really think about it. I got there at night, started laying down, woke up in the morning, finished, and True. I was out. True. And that was all to get ready for Fuel Fest this oh. year, yeah. Dang. Yeah. What are some common misconceptions with rapping? Because I know some people are like, no, I never want to rap. I like paint. But, like, what are some, you know, common things that people might get wrong with um, rapping a car? It's all opinionated, right? Yeah. You know, people... You know, you want to say rap is better or paint is better. I don't think any of them better. I think yeah. it just comes down to preference, you know. Paint offers this look that you just can't imitate. Right. You know what I'm saying? From, like, a good painter that knows how to lay down some good clear coat and stuff like that, you just get this beautiful mirror effect. And rap has come close to that, but, I mean, you know, you still see a couple of orange peel and stuff like that, but it's also great for designing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, like, the options are endless when it comes to rap, from printing to designing to the same thing you can do with paint, right? Yeah. I mean, um to each his own yeah. I, don't, I don't think rap is better i don't think paint is better i think you need a good paint foundation to do a good rap so yeah. they both work hand in hand true yeah <laughs> yeah because i i've i've seen both done in such a way that can't be like i've seen raps that i know it's a rap yeah. but no paint could do that yeah you know and i've yeah. seen the same with paint like you're saying so i guess it is preference what you prefer yeah i mean it all comes down you know the best compliment any rapper can get is like man i thought that was paint and yeah i've gotten that a couple of times which cool. is great so yeah. <laughs> that's awesome yeah dang man um are there any tracks you plan to hit in the future re coming up soon um, or any what about dream tracks like, dream tracks man drift mansion is definitely yeah. up there yeah, uh, I just, I'd like to make it third. Too. I see it on IG every time, and it's just like a dream. I can't, I can't reach. I'm gonna get Not there yet, one day. Yeah. It's gonna can't happen. Reach yet. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen, man. It just looks so much fun. It's just like the idea and the concept of what the Drift Mansion is. Uh, 
somehow, some way, listen to me out here. Clutch Kickers, come back, bro. Yeah. Some, some way, we were just talking about how yeah. like, it's one of the most popular tracks on Sim. Yeah. Uh, I only got to drive it once, and that's when I was uh, coming back from a three-year hiatus, so I didn't drive it the best. Yeah. So kind of a little bit of a regret that I didn't get to experience how to flow it com completely yeah um but yeah. yeah emerald coast yeah yeah man i only made it out there for one of the clutch kicker events i wasn't driving at the time but yeah it's a vibe it was a vibe it was a uh, good good people people traveled like what night from miami nine hours yeah to go over there that further from the U like there were pro yeah. fd drivers yeah. going to clutch kicker, it was a good so. track man sad they had to shut down but that's Seems to be a, a retelling story that we see a lot. Yep. PBIR, another one closed down. Yeah. Um, dream tracks, man. I don't know. Abyssal would be great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, go to Japan. For sure. Drive in, uh, you know, the homeland. I mean. For sure. So, uh, and then, um, you know, whatever other track is available. Uh, Atlanta. Yeah. AMP. Yeah. Yeah. AMP is going to be fun. Uh, Have you been up there before? No, never. Oh, yeah, never. Yeah. Yeah. I want to work my way out of Florida. And like Mid Pond, AMP. Mid Pond's another one. Like mm. North Carolina, South Carolina has some tracks. Yeah. Like hit the Southeast in the next year and then Texas. keep working. Yeah. Definitely. Texas has a bunch LS of Fest Texas was killer. Yeah. I always watch the YouTubes and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, hopefully with the LS, I'll make it out one day once I'm in, it's reliable enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once I get it there. Get it running. Let's get yeah, it. yeah. One Dang. step at a time, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Do you have any questions for me? Any thoughts? Anything? Man, no, man. Thank you for having me here, bro. Yeah, it's been a long time. I love watching what you do and Thanks, what man. you do for the community. It's yeah, really dope. I think we need a lot more of this, you know, just, uh, you know, more togetherness in our community for and sure. just love, you know? Yeah. Which actually I saw you're on Team No Tread. Yeah. And I saw, is it Tom or somebody yesterday at the Beast First Coast? place. Yeah. First place, I'm also part of Zek Nova. Shout out to them. Ooh. They touched second place. Sick. So um, it's pretty cool to see the teams I'm a part of out there killing it. Yeah. Um, and I uh, can't wait to be out there. I just, it was too late for me to join, you know. And then yeah. I really want to get the 240 out. They're out there in the Corvettes ripping it, you know. So yeah, got to stay competitive, bring out the LS with the 240, super lightweight. And hopefully, you know, I can transfer my driving style to my 240 and just... Be aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm bro, touching podium bro. next year. I don't, I don't care what people say. <laughs> I'm touching it. You don't like it? I'm sorry, bro. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Sick, That's the attitude you got to have, man. Like, I have it written at the bottom of my oil pan. Yeah. So when I blew the first motor, uh, I reused the same oil pan. Yeah. And then I grabbed my marker, permanent marker, and I put round two. I'm touching podium when I start pro-am. And uh, it's going to happen, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude. It's the attitude you got to have. Hungry. <laughs> yeah. I don't Winning. care if it's third, second, yeah. first. I'm touching it. <laughs> yeah. I'll be on that platform. Yeah. <laughs> Sick, man. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming out, dude. I greatly appreciate it. Well, when that man. 240 is running and you compete and come back on. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll man. talk about how uh, we touch podium. Got yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. We'll see if, uh, yeah, if, it, if it comes full circle and you really do. 2024 right now 2025 yeah prospect license coming bro let's go, let's go man <laughs> well guys it's been real like subscribe leave a comment down below and we'll catch you next time fam peace peace